Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Pokemon fan game called Pokemon Insurgents on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and this is running macOS Monterey. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. This will help you keep up to date with the latest Mac news. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to support the channel and the work that I do. So I'm going to leave a link to the p-insurgents.com website. This is where the Pokemon Insurgents files are kept. And once we get to this homepage, we're going to click the download button here. And in this download section here, we're going to have this guide on the right here. So I'm going to click on Mac Guide. And we're going to be selecting the macOS version. And we're going to be selecting this middle button here, which says that it supports macOS 12, which is macOS Monterey. If you're on Big Sur, which is macOS 11, you can use this version too. Basically, the 64-bit macOS version is this middle button here at the time of recording. So here we're going to click here. And this here gives a set of instructions. So you can see here that this is a terminal command. This is basically going to download and install all the assets using this install-beta.sh. So now what we're going to do is to go to the top top right hand side of the screen and then press the spotlight icon here and then we're going to type in the word terminal and then we're going to select the terminal icon at the top here and now we have this terminal window I'm going to press the command plus key until we get this a bit bigger and then what we're going to do is to copy and paste this command so I'm going to select the beginning and get to the end and then we're going to control click on this line and then we're going to click the copy button here that will copy it into the clipboard and then we're going to paste it into this terminal window. So I'm going to hold on control and then click on that line and then press paste. And that's going to give us this command. Now I'm going to press the return key. So here it's saying that Homebrew is not installed. So if you already have Homebrew installed, this is going to automatically execute for you. And basically it's not installing because we need to enter the administrator access. So if you have this issue, what you can do is to run this script instead. So I'm going to select this line first, then I'm going to control click on the line, press copy, and then we're going to control click on this blank space and then press paste. Here we're going to press return. Here we're going to type in my password. And here it's saying that command line tools also need to be installed. This is a larger file, so just be aware that this might take a bit longer. So here we're going to press return and just let command line tools install and homebrew install as well. So this is now downloading command line tools. So once command line tools has downloaded, it's going to install homebrew. So once homebrew installs, you probably want to set the path as well. So what I'm going to do is to select these two lines. I'm going to hold down the control key and then click and I'll press copy. I'm going to control click on the blank space and press paste. And this is going to set the path in case we run any other homebrew in the future. And then basically we're going to paste the first command again. So we're going to select it all again and then press the control key and then click on that line, press copy. And then I'm going to press control and then click and then press the paste button. And here we're going to run the script from scratch. Here I'll press return. And now this is downloading the data from that script. Here it's installing Xquartz and it's also installing Wine. So lots of things are being installed, a lot of the dependencies that this game needs. Looks like we're going to be running the Windows version of this game through Wine, which is a compatibility layer which allows Windows software to run on the Mac operating system. So here it's asking for a password, so I'm just going to type mine in. When you type in a password into Terminal, you won't see any stars or anything, but it will be invisible here, so don't worry about it. All you need to do is to press return after you type in your password and we'll go to the next step. So this script should create a shortcut on your desktop in order to run the game. And if this fails for some reason, what I'm going to do is to press the up key and then basically run this script all over again. So the instruction here says that we now need to restart the computer and we will get the shortcut on our desktop once we've done that. So I'm going to close down my terminal and then I'll click the Apple logo here and press the restart button. So if the shortcut hasn't appeared, then that particular command has failed. So what I'm going to do is to go to the top right and then open up terminal again. And then we're going to maximize this window once more. And then what I'm going to do is to press the up key so that we load up the last command and we're going to load that script again. So you can see here that this is downloading other dependencies. This is the DirectX redistributable. This was not installing before, so I had to run that script again. So it just seems that this script might fail and you might have to run it multiple times and you might have to restart in the middle in order to get this to run correctly. But just keep persevering and we'll get there eventually. So now this is the Pokemon Insurgency Core being installed correctly. And you can see that these are the actual animation and game files. So now it's saying here to wait for any one configuration in the Windows to open, but none opened for me. 
And then what I'm gonna do is to restart the computer and I'll be running this shortcut. So I'm just gonna check that Pokemon Insurgency is installed. I can do that by going to Finder and then going to my home button here. And then I can see that PKMN underscore Insurg is installed here. And this is the kind of wine bottle for the compatibility layer. And what I'm gonna do is to double click on the shortcut on my desktop. I'm gonna run the command direct from my home folder. And this game is now running correctly. Just gonna restart the game with the fonts. So I'm gonna press new game. Here we're gonna select the traditional storyline and press yes. So one thing you probably wanna do is to go to options and then change the screen size. So you can go down to here, we've got the normal size here, large and huge. So unfortunately there isn't much that you can do to increase this screen size. I've actually tried decreasing the resolution scaling, but uh, this seems to produce some graphical issues in the game and sometimes crashes as well. So what I would do is stick to this huge setting for now and stick with this as a windowed game. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.